Welcome to Wigan RC, and it's finally here, my new Fossil X-Class. So, join me as I get ready for the unboxing. So here's the frame all out of the box and going through it quickly they provide some battery straps and battery pads get some stickers this is the X-Class um, United Kingdom and then all the fossil racing stickers and so forth then these are the mount amounts um, looks like they're 30 30 mil or 32 mil um, holes for the motor mount so obviously there's a little bit of adjustment if you've got 25 millimeter bolt holes and then <clears throat> we've got some standoffs and some screws looks like steel screws that's probably to mount um, in the frame and then we've got some three three um, millimeter carbon top plate and bottom plate and here are all the multitude of um, connectors that bolt through um, bolt through there for all the arms to bolt through and obviously that will also stabilize the top and um, bottom plate and then interestingly enough here the arms they're very light they're 20 millimeter diameter um, aluminium tubing and looks like that they're just one millimeter thickness it's good that the kit came with two extra arms so actually three extra arms so um that was great to see three extra arms came in the kit from fossil so yeah all that's left for me to do is put this together. Okay, so it's going together quite well. And as you can see here, very difficult to go wrong. You just put the two halves together of the um, half circles and then the end standoff and then you get that and you put then other screws in and you screw it to the end keep it trying keep it flush now as I was looking at this I thought I actually didn't like the aluminium and I possibly may um, end up getting carbon tube and making it a bit stronger a bit lighter than the aluminium so there we go, bit of an early mod already, but it's going to get in the well. So here is the finished frame and it is looking awesome. And as you can see, I've covered the aluminium um, basic standard um, arms that you can see there. I've got three spare and I've um, covered them with some carbon fiber wrap just to tie it all in together and the I've heard that the aluminium arms are a lot stronger than the carbon fiber ones because they tend to snap so I'm happy with that now this thing is just a beast as you can see it's 980 millimeters and I've got my scales here okay and then we'll weigh the dry weight of this frame and there you have it it's 732 grams and when you consider this is my new 12 inch um, rooster just the custom made one when you actually look at the weight of this is coming up at 796 so let's put this around there so you can see it and take the props leaning off this hold on a second 796 grams I suppose the only things that I can think of that I would 
do is an instruction manual um, just to see where people put their components. So I'll work that out. And also screws, I think should be 14 mil long. These are 35. And that will just give you a bit more room um, to really lock in the nylon nuts and clamp down the bottom plate. Overall, the frame went together quite easily. And I think once, turning this back round, um, we put all the components in, it's gonna look great. So, obviously this is the front. This is where I'm gonna put my camera and then I'll put VTX at the back and so forth. You've got two sets of straps for the top mount battery or you can do a bottom mount battery. And so now it's just waiting for me to get my electronics and motors. I've already got batteries and so forth. And we're cooking with gas. So really happy with this. I'm actually just in the process of actually doing my own custom build X-Class. So I've started off, I've got a couple of carbon um, plates mounted on some aluminium square. Um, I thought I'd try square to see if the strength was really going to be good. This is 1100 mil um, long and holding it up you can see it's about 120 millimeters longer than the Thor by Fossil. So this is just a prototype. So what I'm gonna do is start to cut out um, the carbon and make sure that all the components fit in nicely. I will probably put some shapes into this. And this at the moment is weighing, um, sorry, 1300 and 30 grams so a little bit heavier um, from the dry weight of the Thor so it's gonna be exciting so this is starting to take shape but yeah really happy with the Thor and really happy with how it's um, going together and as a size comparison to the 12 inch, as you can see there, very, very, it's almost double the size of a 12 inch. So, um, very, very big difference in, in size. So, hold on if I can, yeah, as you can see there, big, big difference. So, anyway, thanks for joining part one of this build. And in part two, I should have the electronics and uh, motors and really get on with this build. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, comment and uh, like and click the notification button so that you get notified when I start to do part two of this build and then the flying video to follow. So thanks again and we're going to see signing off.